Greetings fellow adventurers, this year is just a short video about the best mod in Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Why it's the best mod? It's a modification which very much should not be a modification because everyone would love to use it. Really, it should be implemented in the game for PC, Xbox One and PS4. It makes a world of a difference to enjoy this legendary and epic adventure of Geralt of Rivia. I hope that more people learn about this, so share it with all your Witcher friends and I also hope that it comes to the attention of the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt developer CD Projekt Red, so it can be included in a patch and usable not only on PC but on console. Ok, so most people only use one or two different signs in combat because the value menu stops and breaks combat flow and people tend to not use it very often. Now take a look at how Witcher 3 combat could be. I was already 30 hours in the game and first I was like, uh, don't want to learn controls again, I am fine, it works. But no, hell no, instant casting Witcher sign makes combat so much more fun and exciting to play. After all, Geralt is not an ordinary sword swinging hero. By modding the user settings file on PC, you can set all signs on instant cast, meaning just casting them without the menu. Building on top of that, now it is easily possible to use that with your controller too. First, usually you gotta switch the left trigger for Witcher Sense and block with the right trigger because of the aiming mod for, uh, for the alternative Igni sign. Right trigger or R2 is normally the one button used to cast the Witcher sign currently set active in the radio menu. With a modification, holding the sign button and pressing on or holding other 5 buttons now instant cast all of the Witcher signs and their alternative modes. So just go to nexusmod.com and search for instant sign casting and learn how to set up the mods for your controller or keyboard and mouse. At least until CD Projekt Red releases their official mod support, that's the side where to go. Additionally keep in mind that the guide or PS button could be used for quick save function, very convenient. Here comes the thing I use with the DualShock 4 controller but it should work with any other controller having a touchpad. If there are any besides the PlayStation 4 one, don't know about that. The touchpad can be used for at least 5 quick access functions. Swipes in any direction opens and closes the map, character skills, quests and inventory. Pressing the touchpad gets the meditation menu for me. Now that I'm using these touchpad functions, I don't like to miss this on any controller in the future. Anyway, I am pretty sure you will love this instant sign casting and I hope for all those console players that they make this controller setup possible in the future patch. Regarding skills, almost everything works and in the end, of course you should support what you use most often in combat. But I definitely recommend going at least deep enough into science to get the alternative modes. Further. Combat has two additional special attack modes to unlock for light and strong attacks. Is this efficient to get all different stuff? To be jack of all trades but master of none? Keep in mind some people in the game can sell you a potion to reset all your skills. First one I met was Kyra Metz in No Man's Land. Now personally I care more about making combat as diversified as possible and boring skills which just gives you some numbers and make your attacks or signs stronger can be easily compensated by better armor and weapons. Don't forget this is a RPG. Your level matters a lot and side quests giving you a ton of XP for level ups and stats increase. Ok fellow adventurers, have fun and be not only a witcher but the witcher, the legend, Geralt of Rivia. Bye.